Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you are watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, and I believe in Bitcoin. Run BTC on this beautiful 48k morning. Um, we are going to do a TA video. I have seven amazing charts that show you exactly what is happening at the moment in Bitcoin. Also talking about the BAM BAM indicator as uh, people asked, is it only working for Bitcoin or also for the other currencies? I will show you and I think that will be it. Let's quickly jump into those charts because you will love them. Yeah. I've been running so long that my feet don't work no more. This is the first chart, guys. Um, yes, Aurox platform using that because there you can see the BAM BAM indicator. Um, the four hour, like you saw yesterday's video, we are still in that four hour trade. We still didn't exit the trade because we are still up. And we are now 6% up with a leverage of 10, that's a 60% run. Um, does it also work, Didi, in the one hour uh, time frame? Yes, in the one hour time frame, you can trade as well. You can trade uh, more times. Long, short, long. Does it work in the 15 minutes, Didi? Yes, it works in the 15 minutes as well. You just adjust the minutes and you can see when you take the longs or when you take the short. This is a short. You don't get out of the short because there is no closing above the yellow stepping line. Here is the long and here is the short signal. So this could be an exit time on the one hour chart. Um, and then the question came to yesterday, does it also work on other currencies? Yes, look, all of these charts. Um, for example, here, your one of your favorites. This is Solana. Look, this is the four-hour chart, longs and shorts on it. Um, maybe even better, if we look at the day chart here, bam, day chart of Solana. Did it tell us to short? Yes, it told us to get out of the market there. And that's at Two hundred dollars. That would have been the perfect exit, just because of the bam. And why there? Because there the bam bam crossed that line. And there we changed into yellow over there, and we even had the red line on top over there. So that was a triple confirmation of getting out of the market. That's how it works. Why don't we get out over there? We could have gotten out over there, but please remember, we were in that long. Just to show you how it works, from this moment the long was already 90%. That short, if you would have taken that short over there, let's say you would have taken it, it would have been behind the screen, that would be 12%. And then you would have gone again along. I wouldn't have exited the market over here. Why not? Because there's a shitload of green down here. So, and the bam bam indicator line was still pointing upwards. So no, that wouldn't be the exit for me, but you could have guys so it works on solana and um, does it work on other coins i think here this one is cardano ada yes long short long short long all profits in the four hour job okay that was enough uh, promotion about the bam bam indicator let's quickly jump um into the next chart bam this one and um, this one i already told and shared with you yesterday it is the uh, runs we had this bull run 200 percent 20% pullback, 300%, 30% pullback, 123%, sorry, 50% <coughs> pullback. Now we are at a 78% run. If we calculate the average of these three, 200 plus 300 is 500 plus 100 is 600 divided by three is 200, then average we have a 200% run. If we would have a 200% run now, we would end up, just to give you the indication exactly, at 87,000 US dollar. If we would make the same run as we have done in average in the last three runs of this bull run. Cool, huh? Bam. Oh, there is a short on the 15 minute. Then we have the Gaussian channel. I told you a few times we need to break that area there on top. Um, and we are not breaking it. The line is now at 49,300. At the moment, we are at 48,300. So we need to um, jump with a 2K candle 
and close that one before one day in 18 hours. So if this candle and one day in 18 hours closes above this one, we can start to get bullish again. And that would maybe be the ignition of that huge run to 50k, 63k to uh, break the previous all time high. That was really cool. <coughs> now let's jump into some really cool charts. Hmm. I think you will love these ones. Bam, over here. Who is buying Bitcoin at the moment? These guys are the people owning less than 10 Bitcoin. Everybody that owns less than 10 Bitcoin is buying. These are the retail investors. This is your auntie, this is your uncle, this is the taxi driver. They are buying Bitcoin now. They own less than 10 Bitcoins. When they start to buy, that means we are in the mid of the bull run. Just check what happened in all the other ones here. 2013, when they started to buy, we were in the mid. Here again, when they started to buy, we were in the mid. 2017, when they started to buy, we were in the mid of the bull run. Do you remember the video of yesterday where I compared these two sections with this section? Here again, they start to buy. Well, it indicates to me we are in the mid of the bull run. Really cool chart. And I think a lot of uh, imp important information, not only cool, but information. And then we have this chart over here. This chart is showing you, um, if my face would not be in front of it, is showing you something really nice as well. This one, these are the whales, guys. The ones that own more than 1,000 Bitcoins. And the people that own them more than 1,000 Bitcoins, you can see it here on the bottom, um, they are accumulating as well. You can see here in 2017, they accumulated there. The line was going up. Here, 2019, you know the 14K run? That line was going up. Here, huge accumulation. The line was going up. And now again, here, we see the line going up. This is very positive. So also the people that are in this game for a long time, the bull, the, um, the, the big whales, they are accumulating. Really cool. Next shot. Bam, over here. On this one, you can see that the exchanges are losing the Bitcoins. So the Bitcoins are leaving the exchanges, which is really awesome. Um, yes, like we showed you once before, I think we are even at a low almost from the last three years. Look, this is the level where we are. The level that was in 2017, 18. That's three years ago that we were we had that that few bitcoins on exchanges the bitcoins are actually uh, leaves, leaving the exchanges oh my god did you stutter 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 um you can see that the publicly uh, held bitcoins is going up the corporates are buying more the etfs are buying more so the whales the retail investors etfs corporates all of them are buying more very bullish in my opinion do we have another really cool chart? Yes, of course, Didi. We have many cool charts today. That is, bam, <clears throat> this one. On this chart, guys, you can see um, the SOPR. And in this SOPR, I can tell you a lot about it, but um, you need to watch at this pinkish area here in the bottom. When we are down below the level of one, you see, we are bearish. That's a capitulation event. Here, when we are above the level of one, and we find support on the level of one and we are finding support uh, at this green arrow arrows over there and here and now again support that is positive that is that market is has a conviction to hodl and to uh, buy more and that is what we just saw in the previous charts and then we have one more really cool chart two more really cool charts oh my god did he just bumping us with charts yes i want to bump you with charts today it's charting day it's thursday <laughs> On this chart, <coughs> we can see where the most Bitcoin mining is taking place. And that is at the moment Germany. There is more Bitcoin mining in Germany than there is in the United States or in China. So Germany is mining. Yes, there is Bitcoin being mined all over the world. Like you can see Australia, like you can see New Zealand over there. Uh, South America is mining. Whole Europe is mining. But it was never this obvious more bitcoins are being mined at the moment in europe than 
other parts of the world really cool one more chart bam and that is the last one of today guys um, because of that mining um, we can transfer bitcoins and at the moment so for transferring 500k an average the fee was one dollar and that is yes an all-time high at the moment over here but that shows you that for one dollar you can transfer 500k that's a shitload of money that you can a transfer for one dollar i think bitcoin is slowly becoming the cheapest way to transfer money all over the world like el salvador is also showing because they i think installed miners now in america bam to give their people the opportunity to send their money free list from america to El Salvador. Guys, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy all these charts, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, please leave a comment and let me know what you think about all the charts. Thank you for watching today. Um, there will be another VIP video today. Uh, it will become time. I need to make some family videos again, uh, but we have a lot of things on our mind as a family at the moment so that's why we didn't make too many videos at the moment but i promise we will be back uh, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again